Thanks again, guys. So let's jump into this reading. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Okay, guys, let's see what's going on. And today we'll be taking a look at both the masculine and the feminine side by side just to see where they're at or just to see which group that we are picking up picking up on today okay what can you tell me about these masculines please what's happening with these masculines The masculine's got the empress. <laughs> That's funny. I hope the feminine's got the emperor. <laughs> so we have the empress and the seven of pentacles. I guess they're sending a message to the feminine that it's time to reap your rewards, guys. It's definitely time to reap your rewards. That's what the divine masculines are saying, or th that's what's on their mind. Reaping their rewards with the divine feminine, the empress. What is going to tell me in regards to these masculines? Nine of Swords. Thoughts. Dreams. It's a thing of the past. It's a thing of the past. It's like they're out of their head. Like it's been a struggle, it's been a fight. It's time to get out of that. It's changing. Completing cycles. Now let's see where the feminines are at. Let's see what they're doing. What can you tell me, please? Justice. Told you it's time to reap your rewards. Justice coming in. Something... You have won. You have gained balance. It's like you're you're free, divine feminines. You're free. The four of wands. Maybe free in regards to a connection. Maybe free in regards to thinking about this connection too much getting it off your mind what else can you tell me please the two of swords see so you have come to some sort of conclusion you have come to some sort of conclusion much like the masculines you have made that decision and that decision that you have made has made you feel free. Controlling your emotions. Yep. Putting an end to all those things that no longer serve you. We have the death card. Completing cycles. Feeling free. That's the feminine. The, the side is a masculine and the side is a feminine. So I guess these masculines are also feeling free, just like the divine feminine. I'm even getting that these masculines are also in their minds in regards to how are they going to be victorious with the divine feminine.
because they know and they see that they are prosperous. They can bring forth something new. They can have a new beginning with the Divine Feminine. But it's like they're thinking, how? But we do have the Six of Wands overall energy that's been victorious. So both the Divine Masculine and Feminine are going to be victorious in whatever they plan on doing or whatever they have done. That makes them feel free, make, makes them feel ready. And with Divine Feminine, they're all birds. See, she's free. Free to express their immersion. Her emotion, I was just going to say, immersion. Why? <laughs> free. While well, Divine Masculine is becoming grounded, stable, looking forward to a brand new beginning. The world, just clarifying the Empress. The world completing cycles. Now it's time for a brand new beginning. It's time for a brand new beginning. The hangman releasing all the negativity. Leaving things behind. Releasing hurt and pain. Sadness insecurities figuring out who they are who they truly are and now it's time to succeed now it's time to move forward now it's time to go forward towards their abundance to reap that reward see the five of cups regrets they're regretting the past They're in their head in regards to the past. Maybe that's going to be something that these masculines have to get over. Because if they're still thinking about regret and what happened in the past, then it's like it's still hanging over them. But here you have the release. They got to release that energy. They have to release that energy if they want to move forward and reap their rewards. Yep, definitely thinking about what happened in the past, all the sadness. Maybe that's why they made up their mind because it's been so hard. Okay, let's kind of find this justice. Two cards, the star and the moon, major arcanas. Clarifying major arcanas. So you got the star, divine feminine, signifies hope, transformation, Connecting with oneself, connecting to God. Loving yourself, really, really owning your divine empress power. Owning yourself, knowing who you truly are. So you made that decision, Divine Feminine, to put in the hard work, to work for it, for what it is that you truly deserve, what you desire. 
loving yourself, paying attention to yourself, taking care of yourself. That's all in trust in God. The seven of swords. So they got the nine of swords and you got the seven of swords. All the deceptions, manipulations, you've put that behind you, putting an end to all those things. No longer on your mind, releasing those energies. You're releasing those energies. Your, your divine masculines are still feeling some trauma. Still going through some things that they that they regret. Let's see if I can get some answer. Let's see what, what are these masculine thinking about now, please? How are they feeling in regards to now and this decision here? What are the masculines feeling in regards to this message, please? What are the masculines feeling? Three of Earth, Three of Pentacles. They're willing to work towards something. As I said, staying grounded, coming into themselves. These masculines are coming into themselves. And the world is on the bottom of the deck, completing cycles. And we already have the world. Give me one more card, please. What are they thinking? Six of air, again. Just like the feminine being free, wanting to be free, ready to soar, ready to push forward. The six of air is the six of swords. Leaving home, leaving behind what no longer serves them. Moving towards something that makes them feel calm, loved, appreciated. Free, just want to be free. Maybe that's it. Maybe where they are is so traumatic. And they're always having troubles. It gives them nightmares. And now they just want to be free. They want to be free from that energy. You have the nine of water, which is the nine of cups. They do want to be where their divine feminine is. The person that fills their cup. Tell me about these feminines, please. What are they thinking? Eight of Pentacles, the Eight of Pentacles, working very hard again, knowing that you can achieve anything once you put your mind to it, Divine Feminine, and you're finding yourself, the moon exactly on the bottom, finding yourself, following your intuition, coming into your power. What are these divine feminines feeling, please, in regards to this message? Oops. See, well, divine masculine attracting you very much. <laughs> Transformation. You are transforming divine feminine. You're changing. This is death. And we already have the death card here. This is death. A rebirth. You're becoming brand new. You're becoming brand new. Again, feeling free, page of air. She has a page of swords. Feeling free. Becoming someone new. Okay, what's the connecting energy between the masculines and the feminines, please, right now? What's the connecting energy, please, between the masculines and the feminines right now, please? 
what's the connecting energy, please, between the masculines and the feminines? We have the three of air and the strength card. So the three of air is like the three of swords. That's why we're having some regrets here. Because it's like the Divine Masculine is remembering what happened between him and the Divine Feminine. And it's, it's like breaking their heart. But they're realizing that if they keep thinking about this, they will be held back forever. And they have to set themselves free. Much as the Divine Feminines are setting themselves free. And the strength card realizing that this love is infinite and nothing can stop this love nothing can nothing can and will fade this love and these masculines are getting the strength from their divine feminines to push forward to move forward to get rid of the hurt and pain so they can reap their rewards, both of them. And then you have the messenger of earth. This is the knight of pentacles. Bringing forth that offer ready for something new. A brand new beginning. <laughs> Stable beginning. Something you can feel, something you can touch. It's time for something new, guys. It's time for something new. Look what's on the top, too. Little messenger of water. The messenger of water, the knight of water, and the knight of cups. Coming forward to express their emotions. So, guys... It's time for something brand new. Let's get a message from the Archangels. Let's see what they have to say in regards to this message. What messages do you have, please? Okay. First card, beloved one, Archangel Shamuel. I am helping you with your spiritual soulmate relationship. So guys, there you go. There you go. Just wanting you guys to know that you have help. Especially Divine Masculines to know that they have help in regards to this connection. God is helping you guys through this. You're not alone. And you will get through it. Because you give each other strength. The strength to change, the strength to love, the strength to move. Because you are each other. Now take care of yourselves everyone. This has been your message. And thanks again for the support. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you're notified whenever I post new videos and also go live. Thank you so much, guys, for stopping by. Love you all. Bye.